Hi Bayshore, it's Pastor Sarah and just as I promised, I am sharing with you today a video on how you can do a traditional house blessing on Epiphany Day. Now there's a lot of tradition to this. Some of it may be new to you. Some of it might seem familiar from maybe some Sunday school lessons you may have had. But either way, I encourage you to do this in your own homes. Now I'm choosing to do this blessing at a not exterior door. Um, normally we do, but actually it's kind of cold outside and I wanted to be able to videotape it comfortably. But this is actually my front door. And so I will be using the door frame of my front door and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But first, uh, to prepare for this blessing, let us read scripture together. As we prepare to ask God's blessing on this household, let us listen to the words of scripture from the Gospel of St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. From his fullness, we have received grace upon grace. Now, what the tradition is, Bayshore, is you take some simple chalk. Now, if you even have sidewalk chalk, feel free to use that. I've got just plain white chalk here. And this is sometimes just simply called chalking the doors. So you take the chalk and you start first with the two first numbers of the year. So for us now, that's two, zero. Oh, and I broke my chalk. There we go. All right. And then what you do is you make the plus sign and you make the letter C, the letter M, and the letter B. And then you make another plus sign and you make our most recent number 21 for 2021. So what do those letters mean? Well, the C stands for Caspar, the M is for Melchior, and the B is for Balthasar. And these are the traditional names of the three wise kings that by the 8th century had not only been named, but had also been given specific regions in the Far East. Now, this is tradition, Bayshore, and this is culture. We really don't know what the three names of the wise men are, but again, this is very symbolic, and so we acknowledge the C and the M and the B. But even so, later on after the 8th century, the church was a little uneasy with this. And so they came up with another reason why we, de we do CMB, and it's Latin, and I'm going to butcher it because it's been a while since I've had Latin, but it's Christe Manzonium Benedictat, which means Christ bless this house. So however you want to use your CMB, you can use it at your will. And then simply, there's a prayer of blessing to be said once you've chalked your doors. And it goes like this. O oh God, you revealed your Son to all people by the shining light of a star. We pray that you bless this home and all who live here with your gracious presence. May your love be our inspiration, your wisdom our guide, your truth our light, and your peace our benediction. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, there's also another part of this tradition that's just kind of fun. If you have a real Christmas tree, and you have yet to take it down, you can take a branch of the Christmas tree and you can actually have some water upon that branch and you can go from room to room asking Christ to bless this house. Unfortunately, in the Stoby household, we gave up real Christmas trees a long time ago, so I can't do that with you. But I encourage you to do at least the chalking of the door. And if you don't want to put chalk on your door, you can even, I've seen this creatively done, use post-it notes. Now, I will also tell you that other part of the tradition is to not touch the chalk and to let the chalk wear itself out. Well, truth be told, Bayshore, I did this last year 
and my husband didn't notice. And in fact, come October, I finally washed off 20 CMB 20 <laughs> to make time and ready and space for our Christmas festooning. So if you're thinking someone is going to notice this above your door, they probably won't. Just you and those who live in your house. And then even then, maybe not. God's peace and blessings to you. And I hope you have a wonderful Epiphany Day.